I've been looking at the work of uh, Simon Denny uh, quite a, a bit. Well, kind of just like a few of his works because I've been listening to him talk about them on YouTube. He does real. His I find his stuff really satisfying to look at, but also just look into because it's. I don't know, in terms of just an artist who's got a really solid basis for um, for making or getting made, getting stuff made, he's, he's the, the best, he's top, he's a top dog. Like his work, that Secret Power. It's just, it kind of looks like these display cabinet. I, I don't know, just pretty much everything about the work, like top to bottom. It's just really sort of solid conceptually, theoretically. I think an, an interesting aspect to it is that it doesn't, um, it doesn't like, it's not like art about art. It's art just about things, about like really specific, well, I mean, just like quite specific, very contemporary, very relevant things. Which is just really refreshing. Yeah, so these works secret pa in secret power. He did them in this. It's, it was for the Venice Biennale, and I guess for the Venice Biennale, you just kind of get to choose your site. Um, so he, you know, he scouted out Venice, and he decided on this library. Um, I can't remember the name of the library, but it, it, you know, it's just like a really old library. Really, like, yeah. It's got, <clears throat> but it's amazingly ornate. There's these paintings, these like Renaissance paintings on the ceiling. And pro I think like all along the walls, it's like this huge deal. And all the paintings are sort of about, they're like allegorical love or just kind of, just about, you know, knowledge, the retention of knowledge and like wisdom and the importance of it and the power of it, you know, befitting to the, the building, which is the, a library. So he was doing these works about the um, NSA. This was in 2015. So he was doing these work. He, just, he he picked that site because he was planning on making these works about the NSA, which, well, yeah, and the, the controversy around the documents leaked, leaked by Edward Snowden, and there was like other people that leaked stuff, but he was looking at these documents that were leaked. I think they were sort of um, strategies or, I know there's a bunch of different documents that were leaked and they often used, um, they were kind of like schemes. And they used um, like cartoon graphics on the headers and things. Different sort of, almost like mascots for these different um, sort of projects of the NSA. And obviously the, the NSA directly links to that idea of uh, not all knowledge, information, retention of it. It's like, this, it's like the, the idea of the NSA is this wielder of a lot of knowledge because of all that secrecy and 
fault because of the espionage. Um, but there was this artist who, they had like a resident kind of designer um, in the NSA who did, who drew like these cartoons and uh, he was actually like a cartoonist. I can't remember what his like position was in the NSA, but he, um, yeah, Demi thought this was kind of interesting and he kind of started looking into this kind of visual language of, of um, these kind of cartoons that were really sort of, they were, you know, it's like these really light-hearted things, like on like a school worksheet when you get um, at the top of like a school work, a homework sheet, you they have like a little shitty cartoon. It's kind of like that, but in like quite a sinister context for these um, secret documents. So he's looking into that visual language and what these things represented. Anyway, he just did this whole fucking thing. So good. Part of the show was like. He actually got, he tracked down that, that guy and like commissioned an artwork, like a, a cartoon that represented, I don't know, he like asked a specific thing, I can't remember what it was. That's right, because it, it was a, he was representing New Zealand in the Biennale and he got the cartoonist to, to draw something, like the actual NSA cartoonist who was doing freelance, he'd left the NSA, um, to do like this cartoon lizard or something, something that represented New Zealand abroad or I can't remember what the what the significance of it was. But he just has these displays which are really interesting and they kind of look, look like display cases, like vitrines, I think that really kind of modern I mean sort of just contemporary art looking, you know they're quite sort of clean corporate and they're not display like I was just I was kind of you know I was sort of wondering because this everything he does is so kind of significant it seems I was wondering what they were and apparently that he used um, you know in like in buildings where they have like I don't really understand exactly what they are, but you'd, you'd have seen them. It's like these kind of rows and rows and rows of these really big sort of computer servers. They're like these server cases, computer big something, you know, the, ca the big sort of clear cases that you find, that you can imagine finding in like the basement of some corporate building. But you know, it's about it's themed and correctly. It's about like um, I don't know. The, the idea that everything that's in the cases relates to this kind of um, relates to information and 